Now comes the most beautiful ayah of this subject. And I quoted it last night also. A monafiq is oscillating. Under a legal veneer of Islam, he remains a legal Muslim. But inside, within his personality, he is oscillating. Sometimes towards Iman, to the, to the right side. And then he is going towards the left side. Towards Kufr, when there is some testing, some demand, come and go to for, for the cause of Allah, now he is near Kufr. But if the conditions are okay, well, he will go to the mosque, he will pray behind the Prophet ﷺ, he is very near Iman today. So, oscillating between Iman and Kufr. What will happen? Either finally one settles to the right side, he becomes the real Mu'min. Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu, aminu billahi wa rasuli. Or he, you know, after oscillating for some time, then he settles to the left. He becomes min ashabi shimal. He becomes the leftist. He becomes the monafiq. And who is the monafiq? Inside kafir, outside Muslim. Now read the ayah. Inna alladzina amanu, summa kafaru, summa amanu, summa kafaru, summa zdadu kufran. And the best simile of a person is, who is drowning, goes down deep into water, then comes up, then goes down, then comes up. A few, you know, move, movements up and down, and then he goes down. In the same way, in the lazina amanu, summa kafaru, summa amanu, summa kafaru, summa zdadu kufran. Now they have, they have nifaq established in their hearts. لَمْ يَكُنِ اللَّهُ لَيَغْفِرَ لَهُمْ وَلَا لَيَهْدِيَهُمْ سَبِيلًا Allah is not going to pardon them, nor to show them any path. All the paths towards right, towards justice, towards salvation are closed for them now. بَشْرِ الْمُنَافِقِينَ Now here, the secret has been disclosed. Who were these people about with whom this discussion was? بَشْرِ الْمُنَافِقِينَ بِأَنَّ لَهُمْ عَزَابًا لَلِيمًا This was not the legal Islam or legal kufr which was being discussed in these ayat. It was the real kufr. Legal Islam, real kufr. That is the nifaq. بَشْرِ الْمُنَافِقِينَ بِأَنَّ لَهُمْ عَزَابًا لَلِيمًا Oh Messenger, Oh Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Give these munafiqeen the glad tidings. Glad tidings of what? That for them there is a very painful punishment, painful chastisement. Inna lazina yatakhidun al kafirin awliya. Now another sign of munafiqeen. They used to make friends with the Jews. Because you know a struggle is going on, you can't say which way the wind will blow finally. So don't take, don't be hasty in taking sides. You must keep something, you know, some goodwill with these people also. Maybe that they become victorious. Don't keep all your eggs in one basket. You should be intelligent enough. So maintain some relations this side also, that side also. This is it. In the ladina yattakhidun al kafirun awliyam in dunil mu'minin. Verily those who take the kuffar, the unbelievers, as protectors and friends instead of the moments are they trying to get from them the honor they are seeking honor from them because these tribes are very strong they are very they have very big strong holds in Medina so we should have some good offices with them they should know that all honor belongs to Allah totally. And he has already sent down upon you the ayah. Now here it's the reference to ayah number 68 of Surah Al-An'am. Because that was Makki, it had already been revealed. And that ayah is that if you find people mocking at Quran and you know then you don't sit with them. Leave them. But be watchful. When they are, they have, you know, done away with this attitude and they are talking about something else, then you can come. So that you have to invite them. You can't leave them altogether. 
But when they are mocking at Quran or Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you remain there, what does it prove? You don't have any sincerity towards Muhammad and Quran sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So that ayah that is being referred to here, وَلَقَدْ نَزَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُوا بِهَا وَيُسْتَحْزَوا بِهَا It has already been sent upon you. That is in ayah 68 of Surah Al-Anam. أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ that when you, then when you hear ayat Allah yukfaru biha that the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ayat of Quran they are being rejected and mocked upon by yustahzahu biha fala taqudu ma'ahum don't sit with them now you leave that place in protest that is the least that you should do hatta yakhudu fi hadithin ghairi till such time that they are engaged in some other topic now. Then you can come and join them. In islahum. If you keep sitting with them in their society when they are laughing at Muhammad, mocking at Muhammad, mocking at Quran sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In islahum. islahum. Then you become also like them. In Allah jami'ul munafiqeen wal kafirina fi jahannam jami'a. Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather together the munafiqeen and kuffar fi jahannam in the hell. And here in this world, Munafiqeen are with Muslims. They are also legal Muslims. In the hereafter, they will be with the Kuffar. Clear? In this world, they are intermixed with Muslims. They are praying behind Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the mosque. They are a part and parcel of the Muslim society. But in the hereafter, they will be bracketed with the unbelievers. إِنَّ اللَّهَ جَامِعُ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْكَافِرِينَ فِي جَهَنَّمَ جَمِيعًا لِلَّذِينَ يَتَرَبَّصُونَ بِكُمْ Who are those munafiqeen? They are waiting for you. Wait and see which, which way the wind blows. تیل دیکھو تیل کی دھار دیکھو Don't take sides. يَتَرَبَّصُونَ بِكُمْ فَإِن كَانَ لَكُمْ فَتْحٌ مِنَ اللَّهِ If a victory comes to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's grace and bounty, قَالُوا أَلَمْ نَكُمْ مَاكُمْ They will come, oh, we were also with you. Were we not with you? We were Muslims. Were we not praying behind the messenger of Allah? So that we should have also a part in the booty, in the gains. وَإِن كَانَ لِلْكَافِرِينَ نَصِيبٌ And if you know there is some good luck for the kuffar, for the unbelievers قَالُوا أَلَمْ نَسْتَحْوِذْ عَلَيْكُمْ وَنَمْنَعْكُمْ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ They will go to the kuffar and say Didn't we provide you with a covering? And we protected you from the Muslims Because they had relations with you know, Jews also Telling them the news now this is being decided. Okay, I told you at that time. And I, you know, conveyed to you that secret of Muslims. So now, I am with you. If you are victorious, I am with you. This is their mentality. This oscillation. Double-mindedness, double-facedness. They have two faces. وَإِذَا لَقُوا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا قَالُوا آمَنَّا وَإِذَا خَلَوْا إِلَىٰ شَيَاتِينَ هِمْ قَالُوا إِنَّا مَعَكُمْ إِنَّمَا نَانُ مُسْتَحْزِئُونَ اللَّهُ يَسْتَحْزِئُوا بِهِمْ وَيَمُدُّهُمْ فِي تُغْيَانِهِمْ يَعْمَهُونَ الَّذِينَ يَتَرَبَّصُونَ بِكُمْ فَإِنْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فَتْحُ مِنَ اللَّهِ قَالُوا أَلَمْ نَكُمْ on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection. And in this world also, Allah is not going to give these unbelievers any way over the moments, over the believers.